गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल पी एच एट वन फाइव वन इंजीनियरिंग फिजिक्स यूनिट फाइव क्रिस्टल फिजिक्स इन मॉडल फोर लेक्चर थ्री वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट मेल्ट ग्रोथ एंड सोल्यूशन ग्रोथ टेक्निक्स इन लेक्चर टू वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल अबाउट द मेल्ट ग्रोथ टेक्निक इन मेल्ट ग्रोथ टेक्निक द प्रोसेस ऑफ क्रिस्टलाइजेशन इज achieved by uh, making a transition from liquid phase to solid phase melt is nothing but it is a, uh, a liquid form of the material that is to be crystallized uh, in uh, in last class we have discussed in detail about low thermal gradient zarolsky technique in zarolsky method a material uh, in polycrystalline form uh, uh, which is taken in a crucible and it is heated until the uh, it is completely melt uh, uh, the temperature is about 1040 degree centigrade the material is completely melt and it is allowed to be in the, the in the state for for few hours after that a, sm a small uh, platinum seed holder without seed crystal is introduced into the melt and it is slowly pulled up and the temperature of the furnace is adjusted to uh, to to optimum for the for the process of crystallization uh, then again the seed holder is slowly introduced into the melt uh, uh, it uh, due to the optimum situation of temperature uh, the droplet size of seed is slowly increased now the pulling rod is uh, slowly pulled up uh, with rotation mm. this process is going for several hours after that we will end up with a large size defect free crystal in uh, zarolsky technique today uh, we will discuss uh, another melt growth technique that is uh, known as bridgman technique in detail now let us learn in detail about bridgman technique the uh, principle of bridgman technique is the Uh, the direction the directional solidification by translating a melt from hot zone of the furnace to the cool zone of the furnace uh, in bridgman technique there are two type of bridgman technique of the growth for crystallization process is available uh, one is called uh, vertical bridgman technique and another one is called horizontal bridgman technique in both the bridgman techniques the cooling process can be achieved by the following three ways in one method the crucible is translated into the low temperature gradient region which means the crucible is moving from high temperature zone to the low low temperature zone of the furnace in another method uh, the crucible is kept stationary and the furnace is moving over the crucible to produce the temperature gradient in other method instead of moving the crucible and the furnace uh, both the crucible and furnace kept stationary a translation of temperature gradient is achieved by using a uh, multiple zone furnace now let let us discuss in detail about uh, bridgman technique uh, in bridgman technique uh, the crystallization material is taken into a crucible which is made up of platinum and it is tapered canonically with a pointed tip at the bottom the polycrystalline material which is to be uh, crystallized uh, is taken in the crucible and it is melted completely in the hot zone of the furnace in this method the furnace which is working uh, uh, is three different uh, is having three different zones the upper one with the temperature above the melting point of the material to be crystallized and the lower zone of the furnace Uh, is kept in the temperature below the melting point point of the material to be crystallized and it is having a adiabatic zone as buffle between these two zones uh, then the crucible is suspended in the upper furnace until the material in the crucible is completely melted when the crucible is slowly moving down from upper furnace to the lower furnace with the help of an electric motor Uh, at the pointer tip first at the pointer tip which enter into the lower zone of the furnace it is cooled below the melting point of the material at this point it starts solidify to form a crystal 
Mm, then the crucible is continuously lowered, the solidification of melt continues to form until all the material becomes uh, crystallized. This figure illustrates the schematic representation of the Bridgman technique of uh, growth of the single crystal from melt. Uh, this apparatus consists of a, a three zone furnace. Uh, its upper zone is kept in higher temperature. The temperature of the upper zone of the furnace is um, uh, higher than that of the material to be crystallized and the lower zone of the furnace is kept in the temperature lower temperature that is lower than that of the melting point of the material to be crystallized these two zone is separated with a thermal insulation zone um, it is also known as the adiabatic zone um, yeah, this is a cylindrical crucible it is a cylindrical closed crucible um, its bottom is in the conical shape. This crucible uh, is made up of platinum. Uh, the material is crystallized, is taken in polycrystalline form, form in this crucible and the crucible is kept into this upper uh, part of the uh, furnace. Uh, due to the higher temperature of the uh, upper part of the furnace, the material inside the crucible is completely melt. Um, after the material in the crucible uh, completely melts uh, using an electric motor, the crucible is moving down to this lower furnace. Um, first, the uh, tip of the bottom part uh, is entered into this lower part of the furnace. The, then its temperature is um, reaches the uh, temperature of uh, solidification. Uh, then from here the process of crystallization begins. Now the uh, crucible is uh, moving down slowly. The crystallization is uh, started from this tip and uh, the crystallization is uh, uh, growing. The crystal is growing in this way uh, uh, until the entire melt in this crucible uh, completely become uh, solid while it is moving from this higher temperature zone to the lower temperature zone. So, in this way uh, using the Bridgman technique the material is crystallized. Next, the advantages of uh, Bridgman technique. Uh, the Bridgman technique is a simple technique. Uh, in this method the control over vapor pressure is possible during the growth process. Uh, the crucible using in this technique is evacuated and sealed and hence the oxidation of melt is prevented uh, in this method. Uh, in this technique the control over the shape and size of the growing crystal can be um, easily achieved. Also it can be achieved the uh, it can be achieved easily the temperature gradient for the growth process. These are all the advantages of using the Bridgman technique. Now let us discuss about the solution growth technique. Uh, this is the simplest technique to grow many crystalline materials uh, which, is, which is having high solubility in liquid. Um, uh, the solution growth techniques uh, are classified into two types. One is called low temperature solution growth technique and another one is called high temperature solution growth technique or flux growth technique. The solution growth technique can be considered as a superior method because uh, good optical transparency of crystals and uniform mixing of dopant in a lattice are achieved by uh, this method easily. In order to grow good quality large single crystals uh, by solution growth method, the materials should have high solubility and a variation in solubility with temperature uh, can be used. The low temperature solution growth method uh, is uh, uh, classified in three types uh, one is uh, slow cooling of the solution and another method is a uh, slow evaporation of the solvent and uh, temperature gradient method mm. For first uh, let us see slow cooling method uh, in, so in slow cooling method a saturated solution above room temperature is taken in a bath and a seed crystal is suspended in the solution then the temperature is reduced to at a very low rate uh, a seed crystal is produces a large single crystals as a result in this method. Next, slow evaporation method. 
in this method the super saturation of solution is achieved by evaporating a solvent at a fixed uh, temperature so in this method a super saturation solution is prepared um, it is allowed to evaporate the uh, so solvent so the remaining is the solute so as a result the solute concentration increases and it grows the crystal on a seed seed crystal uh, from this method a large size crystal is achieved temperature gradient method uh, a smaller variation in the temperature between the source and the crystal has a large effects on the uh, crystal growth rate um, in this method the transport of a material forms a hot region which containing the source of the material to be grown uh, into a cooler region where the solution is super saturated results in the uh, crystal growth so the transport of a material from a hot region to a, a cooler region where the solution is super saturated uh, so as a result the crystal is grown in uh, this uh, temperature gradient method uh, these are all the references which i have used to prepare this model thank you all